FCC inside Club Malibu, right here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Only U4365 can bring this to you. Of course, it's Sean's birthday bash this week, and we have a very special guest, none other than Johnny Kemp, right here for our Flashback Fridays. Y'all know that song, Just Got Paid, it's Friday night. Well, it is Friday night, right here at Club Malibu. U4365 will bring this to you all the time. Again, I'm your girl, CC. Make sure you stick it right here. Thanks for having us. I can't see. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Sean. We're having a good time. I love your party. Enjoy, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to say happy birthday to my little cousin, Sean, a.k.a. Big Sean, a.k.a. S. Boogie. I want to let you know I love you, boy. Keep up the good work. Coming from your cousin, J, to the mother B.
with the man of the hour, Mr. Johnny Kemp. You did a wonderful performance for us of Just Got Paid. How are you, Mr. Kemp? I'm wonderful. I feel, I feel just joyful standing next to you. I'm very joyful after seeing your performance. You've done it. <laughs> this is like the uh, Amazon CC. She's gorgeous and she's beautiful and I, I'm taking her home. Thank you so much. So your performance, you have so much energy. Where was all of that coming from? What do you do before you get here? What were you doing? I sleep all day. Just for that one performance, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, you save it up, save it up, save it up. Richard Pryor once said he can give you five good minutes and then he need eight hours sleep. I always like to use that line. I thought it was, I think it's hilarious. You must have needed 12 hours of sleep for that performance because you were definitely shutting it down. Yeah, I think I had about 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so the success of Just Got Paid has gone for years and years and years. What do you think about it? Did you think it was going to be such a hit? I had no idea. I had no idea, and um, it's 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 just amazing. It's 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 almost miraculous. It's only God. I have two brothers who are pastors, and I always tell them. I said, you know, there's gotta be God's gotta be in that song, and I think it's uh, it's something about the feeling that you get when you hear it. I think there's a joy that's communicated in the song, and I think that that's probably the reason why it's. It's lasted so long. 22 years has been since that record. I just met a young lady who's 20, 26. So she was four years old when she heard the song. She told me that that's her favorite song in the world. Her favorite song, and I'm sure it's even more her favorite after she sees you perform it. What was that? I'm sure she loves it even more after she sees you perform it. I I hope so. I like the thing that I do. I like the thing that I do the song justice. You do. You definitely do. So what are you doing now? Can we expect anything else from Johnny Kim? I'm working on something. I'm working on something. I'm all, you know, we always working on something. You know how, how it is. But I'm, I am working on something very specific. It's like a special Bob Marley related project that I'm really, really excited about. And I, I can't wait to share it with the world. But um, it's going to take a minute. What made you do the switch from a high energy, you know, really like R&B track to going to a, something like Bob Marley? Well, I mean, you know, I'm older. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, not only that, I mean, it's, 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 I've, I've, I've definitely grown and matured as a person and uh, as a human being. And it's like you get to a point where I am, you want to, you want to, you know, I, I mean, I realize now that you don't really get a chance to speak to the world that often. So whenever you do get the opportunity, you need to make it count. So with the next the next time that I that I that I do something, it has to it has to mean something, it has to count. Because you know it's been it's been 22 years since I made a record. You know what I mean? So the next time I make a record it's gotta mean something. It's gotta mean it's gotta mean a shit a, a shit of a lot. You know what I mean? So so that's that's what it's all about. Bob Marley's music is just like timeless. It has so much meaning for so many people, and um, it's just universally loved, and and it it just means it has a great deal of depth, spiritually speaking. You know what I mean? And that's really where, what I'm trying to, what I would like to share. Thank you so much. Great wise words from Mr. Johnny Kemp. It was. It really was. It really was. You did a I good job. I appreciate you saying that, CC. Makes me feel good. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. You're right here with You Party 365 and Mr. Johnny Kim. Just got I'm paid. here at the club Malibu. Club Malibu in Elizabeth, New Jersey, and I'm hanging out with the crew. And the name of the crew is CC. And you and what was the name of the? <laughs> you Party 365. You Party 365 every day. I'm I'm hanging out with You Party 365 every day. I'm hanging out with them. So I'm going to be with them the next time you see her, I'll be right here.
And I'm with my girl Kia again. Last week, she requested Johnny Kemp. So now we want to know some feedback. What did you think about Johnny Kemp's performance? The performance was great. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I was so happy he came and performed. Very good. Did he have a lot of energy to you? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Johnny Kemp performed like none other. <laughs> right here at Club Malibu's Flashback Fridays. See Kareem, all these people in the back. We're going to ask them what they thought, too. <laughs> Mr. Eastwick, how are you? How are you? <laughs> so, you just watched a Johnny Kemp performance. What did you think? Excuse me? I'm you speechless? Johnny Kemp performance. What did you think? Oh, I saw just a brief. I saw one song. But what did you think of what you saw from the one? I thought it was great. I mean, he's definitely matured. You know, I'm from the old school, too. So I can appreciate a good vocal vocalist. Thank you. You Party 365, Flashback Friday, Club Malibu, is your girl, CC. <laughs> in front of Club Malibu, I'm here with two very important people from Loki Entertainment, Mr. Fuquan and I mean, yes? Yes. Happy, did you enjoy the performance of Mr. Yes, Johnny Kemp? Yes, 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 throwback. 20 years ago, he came back again. He don't look the same, but he still did a good job. Voice still the same, though. But you know, this was what we're trying to do here every other week, every month, bring a throwback artist. It's very tough for people to understand exactly what we're trying to do, but it's okay. The ones that understand will keep coming, and it's gonna be a line outside so long, Remember something, it won't be no guest list. You got to pay to play. You know? I know that's right. So who do we have coming up next? Just tell us a little bit more about Flashback Friday. Yo, we're going to take it back. You know what I mean? We're going to take it back. We're going to give you the best of, of, of the old school hip hop. We got brand Nubians. You know what I'm saying? Grand Pooba coming in the house. You know what I mean? We got, oh man, we got all the DJs. Big Daddy Kane coming through. You know what I mean? We're doing all the line DJs. All the hot DJs from back in the 80s and the 90s. Birthday party is going to be here. You know what I'm trying to nice say? Give a shout out to Nice and Smooth coming through. She's coming through. I mean, she'll keep coming. All right, come on, y'all. It's too much. Loki Entertainment got too much coming up. Too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Outside here of Club Malibu, it's right here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. I'm your girl, Cece, with many of the members of Loki Entertainment. Very, very key figures here. Mr. Fuquan, I mean, and of course, Mr. Kareem Russell. So let us know a little bit about what you thought about the performance of Mr. Johnny Kemp. That could be your uncle or some kind. No, oh, easy, <laughs> easy. I know he's light-skinned and all, but that doesn't mean that... You know we, we all look alike. Yeah. He's a wild dude, that's all I can say. But um, he did his thing, though. He's a little crazy, but um, he made it happen tonight. Absolutely. What did you think of the performance before? I don't know. I thought he was going out for a chili competition. He did a split at the end of the show, but it's all good. But his performance well. I mean, good dude. One hit, one dude. That's what we're trying to do here. But he come back. We'll bring him back. He did a good job. You know what I'm saying? For the song, it's a hot song. Yeah. Remember that. That's why we bring a hotness here. If you want a hot song, you won't be here, but we appreciate him. Appreciate him very much. Very nice. So, I mean, tell us a little bit about what is going to go on here for Flashback Fridays. We got like a whole new lineup right now. We got Nice and Smooth coming up. We got Mr. Cheeks coming up. You know what I mean? We got Grand Poobah, Brand Nubians coming up on August 27th. Check that out. Yeah, we bringing y'all the classics of hip hop, R&B, and club. We got club. We got Colonel Abrams coming up soon. You know what I'm saying? So we bring a diva. We bringing y'all all the flashbacks of everything from the 80s and the 90s. You know what I mean? No, nobody in New Jersey's doing this right now. So just check this out right now. You got more? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Sep September 5th, Dana Dane's birthday bash. He's bringing a whole bunch of artists from the 80s. He's performing live. Then we're coming back October 11th. We're going to be doing the third annual I Miss the 80s party featuring Big Daddy Kane. Bang. Bang. He had to add the bang on there for that one. <laughs> So as you can see, Loki Entertainment, U Party 365, Club Malibu's in Elizabeth, New Jersey is definitely bringing the bangers every time, right? Oh, you have more to say, Fuquan? No, no. no. Your shoes just brought the bangers tonight. You Ooh. killed them tonight. Thank you. Thank you.
Let's keep this about Loki Entertainment. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Loki Entertainment, they always know how to make you feel right at home every time. Your girl, CC, you party 365. Make sure you're here every Friday for Flashback Fridays. Three, two, one. I'm here, Low Key TV. This is Fuquan. I'm actually taking a mic for CC right now. CC, thank you for the job for a minute. We here to do one thing. My man Sean's birthday party actually, not the party, his birthday is the day. We appreciate Sean. Sean ruled us since he was 18 years old. We broke him in very young. And I just want to say, you know, big shout out to Sean for his birthday. He's not here right now. He inside with white on, but you always can spot him out, though. Just keep, look at the hands, you know what I mean? You know his hands, you, you know who Sean is, though. But that's my dude. I love you to death. Sean, happy birthday, man. Enjoy your night. Happy birthday, Sean, and we're looking forward to the 30th bash in yes, 2011. Yes, yes, we're going to do extra gonna big, crazy, extra big. Major. He said red carpet like talk, Kareem. Man. I signed checks. <laughs> no doubt. Old joke aside, we all... White Castle money. That's right. That's White Castle money. But Sean, we appreciate you. Happy birthday, man. Enjoy your night, man. No Q. Let's keep it going. One, man. Hi, this is Johnny Kemp, and you're watching Flashback Fridays with You Party 365. Every day, all day, You Party. You know what I'm talking about. Peace.